Pope Benedict is sparking new controversy tonight with published remarks that would seem to contradict long-standing church doctrine, saying the use of condoms can sometimes be morally justified. Elaine Quijano has more. The comments are revealed in a book due out Tuesday, the product of days of interviews of the Pope by a German journalist. The Vatican's newspaper released excerpts today. The Pope is saying that condoms in themselves aren't like inherently wicked. It's uh, what people do with them that can be good or bad. In the book, the Pope was asked about controversial comments he made last year while on a visit to Africa, saying the AIDS crisis there could not be helped by distributing condoms to prevent the spread of the disease. Those comments sparked international outrage, and in the book, the Pope said his point then was that simply handing out condoms was not enough to solve the problem of HIV-AIDS. The Pope then suggested in certain instances, using a condom might be morally defensible, not to prevent pregnancy, but to prevent spreading disease. Quote, there may be a basis in the case of some individuals, as perhaps when a male prostitute uses a condom, where this can be a first first step in the direction of a moralization, a first assumption of responsibility. Experts say that view is one the Pope and Catholic theologians have privately held for years, but never stated publicly until now. The fact that there's any kind of movement at all on the question of artificial contraception, and even more importantly on the question of how do we stop disease by the use of condoms, that's significant. The Pope also defended the church's traditional teaching banning contraception and abortion. Yet his comments are drawing mixed reactions from Catholics. If you start changing things like that, then, you know, I just don't know what would come next. I think it's very, uh, very advanced for the Pope and the Catholic thinking. Well, I think it's long overdue, frankly. The Pope's comments do not carry the weight of official church law, but many interpret his remarks as a clear sign the Vatican may have more to say on the issue in the future. Elaine Quijano, CBS News, New York.